everyone. Welcome to English 3010 from my kitchen. <laughs> uh, I apologize for the, the bad lighting behind me. I don't have the best space to kind of be doing this, but we'll work with what we've got, okay? Um, so this video is primarily going to be informative. I'm going to talk you through the very long email that I sent you. Um, and I'm doing this just so that you have two kind of different ways of getting the information, right? Um, you can read through the email, but I also recommend watching the video in case um, I word something slightly differently or something just triggers a different question in your head. Um, this will just give you the most thorough um, understanding of what we're gonna be doing for the rest of the semester, okay? So the first thing I wanted to acknowledge, guys, is that I realized that this sucks, right? This sucks so much for all of us. You signed up to take a face-to-face -face class, an in-person class, and now you're suddenly having to transition to doing it online. And it's not just in this English class, you're having to do it in, you know, two, three, four other classes, right? Um, and I realize that's very stressful. And on top of that, you're trying to take care of yourself, your own health, um, your family member's health probably, um, you might be working, you're still trying to get your grades, you're trying to graduate perhaps, you're trying to apply to programs. Like I know there's so much happening and I know that this is not the best situation to be making um, or to be doing kind of productivity, that kind of thing. I know that it's, it's hard, right? So the way that I have structured the rest of the class um, is to hopefully alleviate some of that stress. Okay, because this is your last English class if you're not an English major. Um, you've already kind of worked through the discourse community that you're going to be in. You've already worked through some of the literature in project three. Um, so I don't want to stress you too much, right? You need to be focusing on yourself, your own health, um, the classes that you might need for your major um, more than you need to be worried about this, right? So with that in mind, what I've kind of done for you guys um, or for our class to rework it, is you're gonna have two things that are required to do, okay? Now, one of them most of you have already done. Um, the first thing is you need to submit the online planning um, writing prompt that I um, put up about a week ago. Um, this is only 10 points. It's just for me to get an idea of what accessibility issues you might have, um, if you're concerned about anything in the online transition. Now, most of you have already done this. If you haven't, please still do it because I wanna make sure that everybody is being taken care of in this crazy <laughs> transition, okay? So the second thing that you need to do is to turn in project three, okay? So project three, if you remember from forever ago at this point, um, is your introduction, which you've already done, you've gotten feedback on, so you might need to tweak it a little bit, but you've already done the introduction. Your lit review component, which is the main, the main part of the, the assignment, the bulk of it. And then the third, portion, which is your proposal, right? So we've talked about the first two. Um, we've done your look, your introduction is mostly done. Your lit review, we've talked about kind of how to put sources together. Your proposal, we haven't really talked about at all. So I have put on Canvas for you under project three, kind of like an outline or guidelines to how to write a proposal. So I still expect you to, to kind of give me something um, but I'm going to be extremely lenient when I look at it, right? I'm not going to be worried about the format of it, um, of your proposal that is. I'm not going to be like, oh, it's missing this element, right? Think of something that you, um, or think of how you would answer your question or what your discourse community needs in regards to your question and propose that. Um, talk about it. I don't expect it to be beautiful. Um, you're not going to have to actually go out and do this thing. So I just want you to kind of give it a shot, right? Um, so you will, I will keep that in mind that we haven't really talked about this when I'm grading it, right? Um, as far as your literature review component, you still need to have your 10 sources. Eight of them need to be scholarly, right? You want to make sure they're synthesized together. Um, feel free to go over some of the old PowerPoints. If at the end of all of this video, you would like me to do another video, um, just detailing what um, your literature review should have, kind of going over some main things like a brief lecture, please email me and let me know and I'm more than happy to do that for you guys, okay? Um, summarizing all that, <laughs> that is the only major project that you have left to do in this class, okay? This will be due on the 29th, I believe I said on my email, now I'm checking. Yes, this will be due Sunday the 29th by 11.59 p.m. So that's almost one week. Um, 
that you have to work on this and finish this. Um, you obviously can still have extensions if you need them, please email me. Um, but keep in mind that this is not going to be the best thing you've ever written and that's perfectly okay, right? Um, we need to be aware of the, sh um, the sheer amount of stress we're all under right now. Um, it is fine if it is, if it is not as beautiful as you would have liked it to be, right? But if you still need an extension, that's perfectly fine. Just send me an email before the 29th. Um, okay, so those are the two things that you have to do for the rest of this class, okay? Project four, gone. Project five, gone. So I'm going to hopefully grade your project three um, within a week of getting them. That's my goal. Um, obviously, in the chaos of the, the, current, <laughs> the current world, who knows what will happen, but that's my goal is to get them back to you really quickly so that you can see what your grade is, okay? So if at that point you, say, have a 94 in the class, which would translate to an A, and you're satisfied with that, um, you're going to send me an email, which the language that I've, um, the language that you should use is on your, um, it's on the email that I sent you, that basically says, as of this day, I have this grade, or I have this percentage, I have a 94, which translates to an A, I would like to accept that as my final grade, I will not be completing any more work in this class, right? You're going to send me that email, you are done. You don't have to worry about English for the rest of the semester, okay? The second option is if you get your project three back, and I don't know, you have a 78 in the class, okay, which would be a C plus, and you're like, man, I really wanted a B. I want to finish with a B. You're then going to send me the second email that basically says, I am not happy with my current grade, and um, I'm going to continue to do assignments, okay? Um, I'm hoping that everybody will actually email me these things so that I have a record, right? The point of this is to protect both of us so that if you say, oh, I have a 93 and it's an A, I can email you back and say, hold on, a 93 is an A minus. You might want to con consider doing another um, assignment, okay? Uh, but this is just to protect both of us so that we both have it in writing. Um, we're both clear, okay? Um, I've attached to this email too, and it's also on your syllabus, but this breakdown of what your um, grade will look like. So that's how you'll look at your percentage. You'll go to Canvas, you'll see it'll say total, whatever it is. Um, I do round up, so say if you're at a 93.5, that would be a 94. Um, then you would look at the email or the syllabus and you would say that is an A, okay? Um, all right, so if you've decided that you are gonna still complete assignments, um, you may have noticed on Canvas that I have five additional writing prompts. Um, I believe it's 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. <clears throat> Don't quote me though. Um, those writing prompts are due um, at the, on the days that I've listed on the email. The first one will be due on the 27th. They are pretty much all due on Fridays, except for the last one, just because of the way the um, semester ends. Um, they're due on the 27th, the 3rd, the 10th, the 17th, and the 20th. So these five writing prompts are mainly just to get you writing. Um, some of them might be academic, most of them probably won't be. The one for this week that's due on the 27th is um, telling me about your favorite book, movie, or something to that effect, um, and why you like it, what you don't like about it, um, etc. Um, these need to be about 200 to 250 words, so it's about one page, double-spaced. Um, so for completing that um, with the parameters, you know, please don't send me 150 words. I'm being very generous in doing this. You know, if you hit the 200 words, um, that'll be worth 20 points, right? So you have a, a possibility of an extra 100 points to make up by doing this, okay? So you can do that. If you are not going to continue taking the class, these grades will not count against you. I'm not gonna put them into zeros. They're just going to be empty on Canvas, right? So you'll still see those assignments, but you don't have to submit them, okay? Um, so what this means is that everyone might be finishing, your class totals might be out of a different total, if that makes sense. So if you decide to su submit these five projects, your grade might be out of 850 points, whereas if you don't, your grade might be out of 750 points, right? Um, that doesn't really matter. What matters is just your percentage, right? So I realize it's a little wonky, but hopefully hopefully we're all on the same page. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else about that. The, the other thing that a lot of people have been asking me about 
is office hours, okay? So the most fair way that I've thought to do office hours from this point is if you haven't attended office hours, it's not going to count against you, okay? You're not going to get a zero out of 50 points. However, if you have attended office hours, that 50 points is still going to stay in there. So like I just said, how some of the grades are, your grades are gonna be out of kind of different totals. If you have come to office hours, for example, and you do complete the additional 100 points, your final grade might be out of 900, right? And say our friend Emily um, didn't come to office hours, but she did do the extra 100 points of assignments, right? Her grade will be out of 850. So it's not going to hurt you if you haven't come, but if you have come, it will help you because it's an additional, you know, 100% grade in the grade book. Does that, does that make sense? If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, I think that's the most fair way to do it at this point. Um, the last thing is I have put two discussion boards on our canvas. One is for general questions. Um, I'm checking that kind of daily. So if you just have something that is not specific to you, but is about the whole class in general. Um, you can ask it there, that way other people can see it, other people can also answer. Uh, we can have kind of a classroom feel. Um, and then the second one is way more fun, in my opinion. <laughs> um, it's just kind of like a fun free-for-all. If you wanna post pictures of your pets, I'd love to see your quarantine dogs and cats and all that, um, or fun memes or whatever. Um, I know that we all have probably in our other classes so many discussion boards, so many new things to download, Zoom, Google Hangouts, all these things. Um, my goal in doing this is so that we don't have that and we're just using the kind of the discussion boards. We kind of have a serious one about class topics. And then there's the second one where if you just find a really funny meme about coronavirus that you want to post for the class, you can post it there. Um, so those are really the only changes that I've made to our Canvas board. Um, don't think I have anything else for you guys. Um, so please, the, as a kind of recap, um, you, have, you have to turn in project three. That is the last project you will have to turn in for this class, right? Um, please do not email me that you want to keep your grade until after I've graded your project three, right? Because even though I'm going to be lenient, if you are missing a whole chunk of it, right, that will severely impact your grade. So please wait until I've gotten that graded um, again, about the first week in April, and then you can start emailing me if you want to continue in the course or you want to keep your final grade as is, okay? Um, if you would like another video about anything in the course, if you have questions, comments, or anything, like if you want me to talk about the Literature Review Project 3 um, in some more detail, I'm more than happy to do that for you. Just please let me know and I can get something up for you guys by Wednesday. Um, other than that, please take care of yourselves, stay healthy, um, and I will hopefully be hearing from you all soon. Bye.